Welcome back to Living Well. We are on location at Headington Oaks with Social Services Director Marina Gronewagen. Welcome to Living Well. Hi, thank you. <laughs> so we've been talking about the transition processes from uh, an acute care situation where they might have been hospitalized mm -hmm. and then a patient is ready to transition to care here at Headington Oaks right. and then back home. Mm -hmm. Where do social services come into that scenario? Um, we're more involved in the discharge planning aspect of it um, when it comes to transitioning from our short care um, unit to home. Um, we will set up the home health services, um, you know, if they need meals on wheels, anything like that in the community, um, we're kind of the resource for that. So if I am the family member of someone who has been in your care and mm -hmm. that family member is now coming home, what types of questions should I be asking as that process continues? Um, a lot of the time it's um, working with therapy as well, you know, if, mm -hmm. if someone is in need of um, equipment of any sort, um, you know, if there's modifications that need done to the home, um, we want to make sure that those residents um, transfer home as safely as possible. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, you guys aren't the ones that provide the therapies, you guys in social services decide what needs to be done and make sure that all the pieces go into place. Uh, essentially, yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. No, we, we work, um, you know, we're encompassed with a therapy team. Um, they let us know what services are needed and then we transition or uh, coordinate that care with uh, okay. services in the community. And how long have you been a part of Headington Oaks? Um, I've been here almost two years, um, but I was actually a student here in 2014, um, first student intern under social service. So things are kind of coming full circle. <laughs> and what has been your experience? Are there any particular experiences you can recall where someone did make that transition and just did very well? Um, yes, um, and also um, not only when people go home, but when we're able to I guess prove to them you know that they've made a good decision to come here we want them to be successful when they go home um, we want them to feel empowered in that decision um, you know that they have the right to choose to go home um, or they have the right to choose to stay here that's really important I think mm -hmm. having a little bit of control sort of eases that process when you're dealing with something scary like a medical situation Absolutely. or rehabilitation mm -hmm. anything you'd like to add that I haven't asked about um, it's okay if that's if does the <laughs> yeah, answer. I no. just want to make sure that we get the ground covered because this experience is foreign to me and I want to mm -hmm. make sure that I understand and our viewers understand what the processes are like. And so if, if you're in a situation where you're in that transitional process, you guys are going to be the ones to take care of me. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Marita, thank you very much for being with us here on Living Well. Thanks. And thank you for watching as well. Living Well will be right back.